very good afternoon, every single one of you. Right, so we have a new Prime Minister. Do you remember when Theresa May was in power? Yeah, a while ago, innit? Well, at that time, I was a bus driver and I sent a proposal to 10 Downing Street. Now, I got a nice letter back and that letter was posted into the picture section of my Facebook and the crux of that letter was to help. It was to do away with diesel, which when you're driving an old bus and you're sitting in a city centre, you're polluting. Simple. So if you get an electric vehicle, which I said to Theresa May, then you're cleaning up city centres. But I went further. You see, at that time, I was a resident in West Denton, and there are some really big shopping centres, Eldon Square, the Metro Centre, and other places like that, where they had big huge roof space and I said to Theresa May about solar panels to bring down the running costs of the shops within the bees big buildings anyway moving forward when I sent the plan as I moved from Newcastle to Rushcliffe I sent a detailed plan to Ruth Edwards MP for Rushcliffe in Nottingham to speak to Rishi Sunak MP who was our Chancellor now the thing is this right at this moment in time we are in an energy crisis because of a Russian who has invaded another country so why do these people in power in London why don't you listen one thing I wasn't asking for at all I wasn't saying to number 11 number 10 Downing Street give me 100 million no it wasn't about that it was a swap a swap deal now initial coin offering is pretty damn simple and that's what I was saying to these people. Now, had this happened, these videos which I'm doing, they wouldn't be done here. Where they would be done is on location of where the set project was. It may be a video where I am speaking to engineers who are installing, or it may be something different. But, as I said way back then, I didn't ask for 100 million pounds it was a swap deal 
based on 10 years. Because 10 years is enough time to turn things around where you're paying out wages, etc. And because today, as you can see, the sun is shining, it's windy. Now, the location you're going to see. All of that which is behind me now. All of that. And more. But I wanted to split that between where I'm living right now and my home city where I was brought up and raised Newcastle upon Tyne and the thing is there would have been 50 jobs in both locations and every year more jobs would be added now one of the things about adding jobs is this and this is why I mentioned Rishi Sunak who was our Chancellor when you're in work you pay money in tax and that is my point there would be tax being paid by engineers and other workers on each site but like I say there was no help from London and because there was no help I'm at a crossroads do I do it myself or do I just let the idea go Letting the idea go, nah, nah, nah. That's not in my, my doing of things. Because, let's face it, when you come up with such a brilliant idea, it should happen. Now, whether this new Prime Minister will, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, coffee's ready. See, the thing is, right, if we as people don't speak up when things are wrong, when we try to make things better, it should be those in power listen. Even if they arrange a meeting and that, that meeting is too or more hours long. It's better to do that, honestly, than just turn around and say, nope, can't be done. Send them a letter. Because what happened in Ukraine and what's about to happen with China, Gordon Bennett, man, that's going to smash the stock market our economy and we're going uh, I mean we have just saying on Sky News before there a hundred billion package which let's be honest has to be paid back doesn't it it's not free money so as I say I've done several videos on this why is nobody listening? You see, on Saturday, yeah, I was up at Newcastle for the match. I spoke to Steve Wraith of NUFC Matters, Toon Talk. Because he had an issue and I hope and I pray that he has followed my advice to the letter and I must see it to the letter everything I put in my video if he follows that 
is a possibility that he will get funding for whatever he wants to do. But as I say, I give these bits of advice out in the hope that something can come back to me. Because without me, there isn't a plan. You know? And I honestly, I fear for the people of Europe because when Siberian bad weather comes our way, they get it first. And because the pipelines have been closed off, people are going to be struggling this winter if the Siberian winds come through. I think they will. I honestly do. And that means we are not prepared. But like I say, if you had followed my advice, we could have done something. Anyway, I hope you like me videos. This is just one of many. So, if you like this, smash the like button and subscribe. It is free of charge. And thank you.